Hello again, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome back to my natural habitat. Look, dinosaurs down there. Excellent. Fant <laughs> fantastic. Good to have you all here for War Party, a strategy game that really reminds me of Warcraft with the uh, different types of units and how the buildings look. But based off of caveman times, where a couple of factions have broken off from each other after discovering magic and being able to control dinosaurs. Pretty cool, actually. So if you want to see more of this game, make sure you click or tap that like button. 99% of the people don't do that. So to the one percenters, welcome, and good to have you all here. Whoa, look at the lady looking looking real thick down there. Look at those. Whoa, that is thick. All right, we're going to get started then by uh, controlling one of these factions and battling it out in a standard, uh, I guess you could call it a skirmish? Yeah, I guess that's the technical word. There's multiplayer, single player, and there's the AI skirmish I was talking about. A campaign and a tutorial available too, so if you want to check this one out, make sure you check for it on Steam. It's actually pretty neat. Uh, I've played it a little bit, and there's quite a lot to do, and it's more in-depth than I thought it might be, so uh, we can't show too much of the campaign at the moment, but I'm going to go ahead and try an AI skirmish and see how that all works out. So there's three factions. As I mentioned, the Wildlanders, which are kind of like just humans who can control dinosaurs. The Necromoths, who are kind of like the undead, and the Vithar who are kind of like the uh, nature protectors, like the ancient, like, oh, we have to protect these lands, that kind of thing. So I'm going to go ahead and play as the Wildlanders against, uh, let's go against the Undead. That'll be cool. And we can pick all sorts of different um, uh, maps and also game modes. We have Regicide and King of the Hill. Regicide, I'm assuming, is where you uh, get a hero character and you have to defend them. And if they die, that's GG. And then King of the Hill, where units probably rush towards the, the middle of the map or something like that. You have to fight over a position rather than a base. But let's do our standard classic uh, 1v1, uh, let's do Meteor, that sounds cool. Resources are standard, and etc, etc. Okay, let's get started and see exactly how good this game is. And uh, I have yet to defeat the enemy, so we'll see how well it goes. Well, the T-Rex often gets mocks for tiny arms. It was actually a can of ton of... Okay, I had no idea what that said. Alright, let's go. Alright, choose your talent. Um, all units deal 75% extra damage against wild dinos. Uh, plus regen and medics are 25% cheaper. Um, I think we'll go with the extra damage there, and that'll be good. All right, let's go ahead and start gathering materials. So we need meat, or food, I guess, and then also crystals in order to... Um, it's basically like your secondary thing that you need to build everything. So we're going to start pumping out villagers like crazy. Let's have our uh, scout here explore. This is actually our hero unit, and her name is Mika. And so Mika uh, can protect... Uh, let's see, it says, leads her people, protecting them from their enemies with her sword and her healing skills. She believes in harmony and learning from nature. I don't know if she actually has any sort of special skills. Here it doesn't look like any of them are unlocked. I don't see anything that she can uh, do at the moment. Oh, there you go. Yeah, so it just need. Oh, it costs 50 uh, spell and such. So if I uh, go and capture some of those territories on the map that we need, uh, some spiritual things, where are they? These things. I don't know exactly what these are called yet, but if I go up to those things and capture them, it'll give me extra skill points for our... Uh, our uh, hero unit, and then we become more powerful. All right, let's build some units, uh, or rather, some things for our units. Uh, house would be important, so let's get that up. Of course, that increases our population up in the upper right corner. You can see the first marker is population limit. The second marker is food. Third marker being the stone, or the uh, the uh, crystals that we need, and the last one being the spells that we can use with the uh, with the hero unit. So that's going to be pretty cool to use it all and see how it works. Kind of cool. This is like a frozen area, but there's also lava around. And there's some really lush landscapes in this game. Um, you know, there's the frozen north, there's like the desert, there's jungle regions, so it's all over the planet, really. It's, I think if we go up there, that's going to be defended by some really bad dinos. So before we go over there, let's go ahead and see if we can head back, heal up, and go out on an attack. Okay, looks like things are done here. These people actually build quite quickly, so let's get a barracks up so we can start making some units. And um, let's go ahead and continue to gather food. We need a lot of villagers to gather food. So we better keep bringing that food in. Eventually, food will run out, and then we can start building farms, and that'll start bringing in extra uh, food for us. And the yes, here uh, with the gr uh, blue uh, crystals, I think they bring in more crystals per villager trip, and so thus you get more with less. Okay, I think I'm gonna not build anything yet and just keep going with the villagers until we get everything up and running. Mika is really cool. The characters in this game look really nice. They've got their own animations. Things look nicely polished as they would for uh, any sort of strategy game. Of course, it's kind of a base caveman base builder, really, if you think about it. And uh, I like this faction the most out of the ones that I've tried, just because it reminds me the most of like you know early man. So here's the farm that we can build, and we can also build a storage hut nearby, uh, like for example over here. Uh, to gather more materials, but I'm gonna go with a farm first so we can get a couple of our people here. working. And yeah, everybody's sassy when they uh, <laughs> when they respond too. I like the voice actors. The voice actors are very good. There's a lot of funny emotes and things that they'll say for that. And then we should be able to upgrade as soon as we get enough XP to get more bonuses uh, for our battle. So we'll be able to pick things such as like um, 
Uh, well, there is a way to upgrade your units to have further line of sight or something like that. But there also is a method to uh, make your hero more powerful. Okay, I'm going to try to build another barracks and pump out a bunch of troops. There is a second level that we can get to by upgrading our HQ, our settlement upgrade. So as soon as we get to 350 food, we can do that. But I'm getting ready to build a big O army, so I'm going to keep on building. The enemy will attack soon, uh, even though they're a medium AI. I've never defeated them before, so I don't know how difficult that is. Uh, but of course the game will have multiplayer, single player campaign for all the factions, and a, a story that should develop too, um, where apparently... Um, Man was able to discover uh, magic power early in order to control these dinosaurs, and then eventually uh, had uh, started to control them. The factions all broke off, and uh, well, the whole world is at war. It's like the First World War now. Okay, let's go ahead and now that we're pumping out a ton of uh, food, let's go ahead and get a couple warriors up. And uh, Mika's able to deal with those units, no problem. More food coming in, excellent. Actually, I wonder what happens. Can we grab that stuff? Oh, it looks like if she just jump walks over it, it actually picks it up. I did not know that. Well, that's really good. Then we can go find more dinosaurs, go on the hunt, and that's a great way to uh, inf uh, inflate your army right away. I'm going to get some more people up so we can keep gathering, and then we're about ready to start building some more stuff. Let's try to build some stables, which are... I love the stables icon. Look at that. It's a huge, like, Brachiosaurus popping out of the, like, the, the Flintstones house. Love it. Oh, we have no more room for new units. Okay, we need some more houses then, uh, so we'll have... Uh, this be built, and then we'll build some more houses. Okay, so everybody's gathering. Everything's going good. Oh, here we are. New unit to build a house here. All right. And another house, too. We're going to need a big population cap now because uh, we're going to have a lot of units coming through. So these warriors can be upgraded. We can uh, do upgrades at the... I, I think it's called, like, the armory or something along those lines. And then eventually we can get better units to attack with. Uh, oh, it's the go the Goan Smithery. Or smithery. Is it smithery? Yes. Smith smithy. Smithery. Smithery, I guess. Okay. So this will eventually uh, get all of our units upgraded. And we should be able to upgrade our hut to level 2 settlement upgrade. And then that will allow us to have way more uh, troops and way way better troops, too. Looks like we're starting to run out of food back here. So that's why we got a couple farmers working that already. Looks like it. Oh, she's just standing around. Let's get you to work up here at this farm. There we go. And houses are being built like crazy. Warriors are coming out. Now, that's not enough, though. We're going to need to build some archers, too. So let's build a couple of ranged units. There we go. And we'll save the rest for our stables, which is the Triceratops Rider. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh oh Enemies. Uh-oh. All right. There's the big enemy hero. His name is uh, Char. Oh, my goodness. We're about to get absolutely fried, speaking of Char. Oh, no. They greatly outnumber us. Fall back. Fall back, Mika. The enemy army is too powerful. Wow, look at all those undead. Okay, we better build some watchtowers quickly. To hold back that enemy army. There we go. Triceratops Rider, go! Just in time. Oh, no. They're attacking our villagers. Oh, that's all right. They'll might, they might take that position, but... Let's get... Oh, you know what? We can double our speed, uh, construction speed if we do that. There's our archers. Pump out some more warriors. Mika's holding the line. Go, girl. Oh, right. Their enemy, enemy hero's down. Oh, they're falling back. We got them. Chase them down, boys. Oh, Mika's... Is she limping? Seems like she's... Actually, well, limping because she's wounded, maybe. That's kind of a cool effect if that's what she truly is doing. Okay, let's go ahead and repair that building. And we'll get some of the villagers back to uh, get that food. Oh, man, the enemy attacked us, but we were able to turn them back with our Triceratops Rider. That was a really powerful unit. Okay, we're building more of those. Okay, let's get this going, Smithy, ready. Uh, let's go ahead and make our uh, Triceratops Riders more powerful, too. Let's plus one damage and plus four damage. That was super, or armor. That was super powerful. That was really good. Are they actually... Can you repair this unit? That, that looks like repair icon. Are you repairing? How do I repair? Yeah. Ah, there we go. Just got to click it that way. All right, more tri uh, Triceratop Riders. Let's get up there. I'm loving this so far. Good music. I like the uh, snow that continuously falls. It makes the world seem a little more alive. Uh, and it's very interesting with, like, lava and stuff around. Let's get this guy and summon the whole army over. We're probably going to see their whole force attack. Okay, let's try to attack some of these shrines. We need to get power for Mika. So she could, can do certain things like lift fog of war and things like that. So let's go ahead and do that. No oh, enemy army up here trying to take it too. There we go. All right, let's capture this thing. So it looks like there's four shrines on this map for us to capture. So that's what it's called, a shrine. All right, so that's under my control. Grab that meat, boys. Oh, yeah, chicken to go. Okay, we got a lot more stuff to build. Let's go over here and capture this shrine. Is there an attack move? Well, they're in aggressive stance. So units will attack everything in sight. So I think as they walk... Oh, there is attack move. There you go. Wow. All right, someone's uh, uppity today. Good. Let's keep building some more uh, 
units then. No more room for new units. Yes, we have no more room. Oh, and everybody's standing around. Jeez, you guys are lazy. Whoa. Okay, no more food. That's why. Let's get up here and start gathering food. Enemy Let's make another farm. Okay, we got enemy contact. Oh, the enemy hero again. Capturing the second shrine. Let's get over here, Mika. What do you got for attacks? We only have 47. Oh, wow. It takes some really expensive spells to break through that. Oh, the enemy's starting to gain some strength. Mika, no. All right, Mika's down. That's right. We can get her back by uh, paying a fee at the main thing. All right, we got to fall back. Enemy army, too powerful. We got to grow our army again. Let's keep getting those uh, Triceratops riders ready. Come on, folks. Gather food. There we go. Okay, let's get some more uh, farms going. Build another farm here. Okay, we need to get Mika back, too, to be able to cast spells. We can get her with 200 food. So it's not like an impossible fee. Alright, get him, boys. They chased us all the way back to the base. They must be on their second level. We better keep up. We need 350. We can't uh, outplay them with... Uh, inferior units. Alright, there's been a good, like, back and forth. They've really kept the pressure on our base. We need to pick it up. We need to do better than this. Let's upgrade our uh, settlement now. And let's get, uh, uh... Let's see, what can we do? Oh, I like how I can see with the shrine uh, whether or not somebody's around so I can defend it just in case they sneak by. Wow, we're really just clearing out the food like crazy. Alright, farmers are going well. Oh, it looks like they actually returned back to the settlement after uh, going to the farm. So it might be better to build those closer. All right, enemy contact again. Get him, warriors. All right, let's get those upgrades done. I got more upgrades to do. Let's try uh, getting more damage. Let's just get all the upgrades. Give me everything. All right, fall back, fall back. Let's not uh, stay on the line too long. Let's see if we can kite them in for an attack. Oh, and we now have a new talent. Uh, units and stables are 10% cheaper. Yes, I want more of those Triceratop Riders. Give me that. Oh, they're falling back. Wow, the AI is really smart. When they lose a certain percentage of their army, they'll just fall back. That's kind of cool. Alright, that's nice. Good for practice. For noobs like me. Oh, look, there's, uh, crystals back there, too. We better get some more, uh, people up. We can get Mika back. Looks like our settlement upgrade is completed. Uh, and we can now have a militia here, which gives workers uh, the ability to cause damage, or villagers. Alright, I need one of you to do something for me. Oh, a medic hut. Yes, let's get a medic up to heal our units. Perfect. Build that there. And then what else do we have? Uh, a going totem, which uh, generates... Oh, a PowerPoint, I see. Uh, let's see, I'm not, I don't think we're talking about Excel here. But let's go for a going totem. Try to get some more spells from Mika. We'll get her up in a second. As soon as we got enough uh, stuff for it. Oh, a Sabertooth Archer. Interesting. I'm going to go with more Triceratops Riders for now. And you guys, go ahead and start working on those crystals. There we go. Right, let's get everyone else to work on the farms. Okay, so far so good. We've at least held off the enemy's attack. I don't know if I can defeat him, but let's see. Oh, it looks like there's plenty of upgrades. We need more food and more like, base expansion. I need to build more settlements and stuff. Let's keep building villagers here. Uh, there's more food there. So I could build like a little uh, gathering hut or something down there. And if we want to expand our base, I'm assuming we have to build another settlement. Okay, let's try to go up here and grab one of those uh, shrines again. Enemy's probably going to be up here. I like how the archers stay in the back. That's good. So if we get in contact, they're not right on the line. Nice. Alright, stay nearby. Look at how nicely detailed these people are. Are they wearing, like, a dinosaur skin? They must be. They're not dinosaurs themselves. That's cool. Alright, two of the totems are now ours, or shrines, I should say. And then, oh, there's purple. Oh, there's purple uh, diamond right in the center. Or, uh, crystals. Interesting. Right, let's attack move here. Apparently the hotkey for that is A. Okay, I'll have to get used to that. Okay, let's go for some more farms. Certainly need the food. And the villagers are all done here with the food, so let's keep going over there. Look at that go. Oh, we're right near the enemy base. Look at that. Uh-oh. They are mad as hell. Uh-oh. All right, fall back. That's way too much. All right, let's build up a huge army now before we attack. Let's get upgrades done, though. Let's do some upgrades for all of our units.
There we go. Fall back, boys. What needs crushing? All right, good. Okay, so lots of crystals are coming in. Uh, oh yeah, we got all villagers sitting down here. Good. Uh, we can now build a storage hut. Actually, everyone can do that. Does that increase speed? Yes, it does. Okay. So you can build things super quick. If you drop off a bunch of villagers, you can go and grab a bunch of food. No problem. What you need? Let's go for the crystals instead. So I could see the effective strategy here by con uh, maintaining control over areas like this. You can just get a ton of crystal and just crush the enemy. I'm a little afraid to go out there right now. I'm trying to stick close to base while we're dealing with some of this stuff. Now we got the go and totems here. So let's see what Mika's uh, special powers are. See what she can do. And uh, how they work. All right. Oh, damn. They're attacking our south. Ready and able. Clever, though. Very smart to be able to attack the uh, enemy way. supply points like that. Oh, and then the hit and run Ooh. tactics. Clever. Funny how they knew that was there with no, no uh, scouting what whatsoever. All right, let's see. Let's go back to the storage hut. We we'll get that no going again. No more room for new units. Okay. Uh, let's get the uh, smithy going again. Let's get all of our units upgraded, especially those beast riders. Okay, we beat the crap out of them. Get more diamonds for us. Mika, where are you at? Are you on the field? Oh, there you are. All right, what do we got? Okay, so we can do... Uh, bulwark, uh, units gain plus 10 armor for 10 seconds. Wow, that's awesome for an immediate attack. Uh, increases uh, vi villager gathering by 50%. I wonder if they, it can only be in a certain area around her. I don't I don't want to test this out. Lift fog. Okay, let's see what we got. Let's see if we can lift fog over here. Uh, okay, so we can see the enemy's base. Look at how their buildings are really cool. They're really different. Okay, it looks like we lost the shrine. Well, we got a thousand uh, magic points, so let's start using them. And let's start our first attack now that we should be able to defend ourselves. Alright, go, oh, go, go. Okay, keep gathering that crystal. Alright, smash them, boys. Get in there, Mika. What can we do? We can add to her armor. I like that bulwark one. That's going to be my favorite. Give us a nice boost to conserve our army for the first time we smash into enemy forces. Okay, looks like we're low on crystals. We're going to have to go grab some more. Definitely. Uh, let's keep getting some villagers going. Actually, we'll just send these people over here now. Go ahead and grab some food now. And let's get our army going. All right, so we got 59 out of 60. I can keep building houses all day, but I think I'll just attack with this army, take some losses, and then attack again. We'll replenish our losses. See how it goes. I love how these enemy units move. Look at that. What is this called? Forks? Oh, it's a zombie. Literally a zombie. Awesome. Oh, God, we're defending against zombies. Oh, they're coming. Oh, the zombie army's here. Hold on, Mika. Bulwark, go. All right, go. Get them, boys. Woo! Hold the line, everybody. Hold that zombie horde back. Get in there, Mika. Are they breaking or are we breaking? It's hard to tell. Reinforcements? Let's get reinforcements. Get our boys upgraded. Come on. All right. Did we make it through? Oh, my goodness. We, we pretty much destroyed a massive portion of their army. Keep pushing the line. Mika, lead the troops to victory. That big-ass sword she's got is awesome. Looks like the enemy settlement can fire arrows at us. All right. Let's fall back. We pretty much got them. No, Mika, over here. No, 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 no. Uh oh, they're still coming. Oh, man. They're not messing around. Mika, no, no, no. You're expensive. Stay back. Oh, I gotta get a medic up here too. I forgot to call one of those out. We'll see how that works in the second attack. I can't finish the base off. Okay, let's bring a medic up here right away. Uh, medic hut is where? Here. Okay. No more room for new units? Oh boy. Uh oh. I wonder if the zombie units need houses. That would be unfair. Alright, let's get our units healed up. Okay, um, let's see. I need one of you guys to start focusing on houses. We need a bigger attack. That unit always confuses me, and that always makes me think it's the house, it's the settlement. Okay, good. Lots of stuff coming in. Eyes open. Oh, Let's good. Look at ready. this huge force we got here. And look at our units. They're now glowing, so we got more destructive hammers. Like Thor is here today. Can we upgrade our settlement again? <gasps> we can upgrade again to the next level. I might need that next level in order to get advantage on the enemy. 
Okay, we built uh, another house, I think. We need more. You have work. A huge housing boom over at my base. Get that population cap up. Crystal's running low on resources. Okay. Ooh, look at all these forces here. Oh, here's the medic. Come on over. Do your do your medic-y things. There we go. Oh, nice. It's like giving out a hot soup. There you go. Nice. Mmm. Soup. Good. I wonder if that's uh, Chunky or, I, I don't know, Campbell's maybe? Campbell's or uh, Progresso? I don't know. Oh, we left somebody behind. Oh, sorry, medic. <laughs> Oops. All right. Don't send a medic up there now. Note to self. All right. So it looks like they got a huge army ready to counterattack, and they are mad. We just, like, broke through to their base, so they need to counterattack hard. So let me get some more uh, drag uh, dragon riders. Not dragon riders, but triceratops riders up. A bunch more troops to smash. And I want to see what happens when we get to the next level. I want to get to 650. So I want to see what happens when we get enough food. I don't think food sources are uh, more plentiful than that, unless we go kill dinosaurs. So I guess we got to go on a dinosaur hunt, too, if we, if we want more food. Wow, we're still 86 out of 90. We still got to keep building houses if we're going to have a big army. I need a bigger army. Now we're going to have a new room soon here in a second. I think I don't know what the population cap is, but it's good to see that we're building up a huge force. The enemy keeps smashing our um, our shrines. They're, they keep taking them over, though I have plenty of power points to use against them. Maybe I'll start using Excel or maybe Word next. Okay, let's get these guys. Come on, get over here, zombies. Oh good, I'm confident that we got a big army here. Okay, let's put our army over here. I wonder if I can do like a pincer move with two different armies. Maybe one attack from the north and one attack from the south. See if we can crush these guys. I don't know if we'll see the next tier of units because I need to keep making them so we can uh, go faster. But uh, let's try to put a storage shot up here. The enemy keeps trying to hit and run on our supply areas. They know we're trying to build a force. They don't like it. I don't blame them. Okay, we got some good farms going at base. Oh, you're just standing around here. Anything you can do? There we go. More farming over there done. Okay, now we can keep upgrading stuff. Obsidian plus two damage to all infantry units. Nice. Alright. Well, this is much more complicated and complex than I thought it was. Complicated in a good way. Like, there's some actual, like, tactics to this um, that I did not foresee. And I do like that. Let's go for another storage hut here. Alright, we gotta crush these guys. We gotta beat these zombies back. We gotta get them. And I wanna see what happens when we upgrade our thing to the next level. Oh, also, worker efficiency bo uh, boost. Increases movement speed by one and carry by five. Oh, go for that. We have no more room Give me that. Wow, I'm surprised at how many units we we go through. Where's the uh, villagers that we're heading over here? Oh, they're going over there. All right, let's send some of you over here. Enemy is attacking our main force again. Mika, let's do our damage. I don't know if I want to use bulwark. Yep, go. Oh, yeah, he's falling back. Enemy is smart. Let's damage their base a bit. Oh, they were able to spawn more zombies. Interesting. Must be one of their special attacks. All right, let's bring up the other army. Where is it? Oh, wait. It's over here defending. All right, while we're doing that, let's go capture shrines. Worker efficiency boost is complete. Good. Start wrecking their buildings. What? Zombies have farms. What the hell? Oh, uh, you think it'd just be somebody's head. Go, medics. Get in there. Look at, look at them circle. All right, what else can we do? Oh, a meteor attack. Let's go. Hit him with the meteors. Woo! Let's see what happens. Yeah! Sweet. Not much damage, but it sure as hell looked like... Oh, never mind. Never mind. That oh, oh, hell. The whole damn base was on fire. Mika, go, girl. Damn, that magic is super powerful. That's magical. That makes Walt Disney Studios look like a scam. I thought that was supposed to be the most magical place on Earth. Nope. Apparently Mika's got it going. Nice job. Oh, oh, get health, health. Up here, here. Go heal. Oh, wait. You're shooting health up there? Oh, sweet. I'm, like darting him with a health health dart. Alright, I don't know if we can defeat these guys. Let's keep going. I want to completely wreck them. There we go. Oh, they're they're done. They are done. That's their main base there. Let's finish off these farms. I want to get to level 3 now. Let's see what happens when we go to the next level. For our settlement. Oh, huge army here ready to go again. Oh, they built another settlement here. All right, let's go smash that. Oh, wait, they still got units. Who the hell was that? 
Minion. Oh, they're actually living humans. Okay. So there's zombies and all sorts of things mixed in there. That's their main base. I don't want to crush it yet. I, I want to kind of keep playing with them a little bit now and see what else we can do here. Looks like we're fighting another creature there. And uh, let's go for the other shrine over here. Hope the AI doesn't surrender. I hope that's not a thing because I need a little bit of practice, as you can see. Okay, what can we build now? Same units, um, but no more upgrades. We got to the next... Oh, not to the next level yet. Almost there. Almost there. Oh, we're beating the genie from Aladdin. Get out of here, Will Smith. No one likes you. You made everyone upset. Get out of here. Oh, I like how he just disappears. He's like, I'm out. Oh, wait. That wasn't their main base. That was just one of their mini settlements. Oh, Mika, we need another attack, girl. Where's those meteorites? Get him, get him. Right here. Hit him here. Get out of there, Triceratops. Jesus! Woo! There we go. Nice. Oh, and I love how everything burst into flame for a second, too. Oh, choose your talent. I forgot all about that. Uh, all units receive plus two damage. Go, go, go. I want that. Give me. I'm on the attack. That's the perfect timing for that. All right, just wreck their base. Just wreck them. Hey, sir? Sir? Okay, we're in the midst of an attack. That's very rude of you. Him and his minions. How, how dare they? Wow, look at our army just destroy now. Awesome. we got a huge population uh, thing. Let's keep attacking the base. All right, let's go for a bunch of... Oh, wait, what is this? Oh, whoa, a war T-Rex. Hold on a second. I want that. Thank you. I'll take... Actually, give me two. What else do we got? New units unlocked that I didn't even know were there. And then the... Oh, the rage. Oh, I got a lot of that, especially in video games. All right, let's pull our force back. Let's just pretend these... Oh, oh they're too powerful, guys. We've got to pull back. Let's finish off this little expansion that they built. Let's make sure we've destroyed all that stuff. Alright, let's finish this base off here. Oh, it looks like they're trying to rebuild. Damn. Don't want that happening. Let's bring in the T-Rex, boys. Here it comes! Oh, yeah. Oh, I think that's how they... I think that's how they sound. Okay. Let's get the T-Rex up here. T-Rex reinforcements coming in. Let's get those Triceratops riders up here. We need more crystals now. Mmm. Gotta get them delicious crystals. Uh, let's go for blue. Uh, there's some up there. Wait, where's the... Uh, oh, there they are. Let's go ahead and switch you guys from food. We got 3,000 food. Let's start getting some of that crystal. And I love that special... I love the little special Mika can do. You gotta keep your war... Um, I don't know what the technical term of them is. I guess you're just your hero unit alive. T-Rex, you wanna come on over here? There we go. Yes, rar indeed. There we go. Alright, let's capture all these. So that can make all the difference. By being able to call in meteorites and give your units like a, a brief little uh, boost. This is going to be a nice little uh, quick strategy game like how uh, StarCraft was. Or World of Warcraft where you got to play quick. And that's fun. Especially if you're just playing casually with some friends. And then eventually it turns into a competition because everyone starts learning more what they got to do. And becomes a serious game. So where are you going? Are you trying to build something? Somebody get him. There we go. Get those villagers. There we go. Don't want them around. Oh, well, there's got to be a base down here. All right, let's try to clean the map up. Okay, we got to get more units up. Let's get a big O army going now. Final wave. I just want to go in and crush everything. I think if we destroy their settlement, or all settlements, that's how we win, including the main base. So let's get T-Rex up here. We'll send in the T-Rex on a raid. Let's finish this off. Let's see how we can do now. So that was that was good. Our army's good so far. We got extra units. Yep. Enemy is desperately trying to build with villagers down there. Okay, let's get the T-Rex over here. Mika, what do you got for powers now? What was the other thing she has? Uh, oh, thunder. Strike the location with lightning, dealing 200 damage spread over units caught in the area. Lift Fog of War, Meteor, and the Bulwark. I like those two the best. I like the Meteors coming down. Let's try Thunder now. We'll bring up the whole army. And we'll build up a backup force just in case we get whooped. It's always possible. All right, let's go ahead and smash all these things. T-Rex, just go ahead and bite that. There you go. Biting is always the solution, I guess. All right, have fun, boys. Get in there and smash. Let's get Mika to... Uh, I always like how this menu's up, too, so you don't have to find her specifically in the uh, selection. Let's get rid of this building. Oh, okay, that's just for units. Oh, but look at that. Oh. So the... Uh, I guess the thunder would be better for, like, a specific heavy unit, like if you were trying to get rid of a T-Rex or something. Speaking of which, you get you guys in here. There we go. I wonder if there's a control of other units, too. Wow, what are all these units? Allows to train shamans that heal units to so the shaman cave. So they have buildings similar to ours, but with different looks and different uh, 
probably different build prices and it works a little differently, but essentially the same. Like it's learnable. I like it. What you need? Okay, let's see. Oh. Uh, we are no match for your war party. Will you accept your surrender? Hell no! We're crushing you completely. You're absolutely getting crushed, AI. AI trying to surrender. Lol. Now we're gonna blow everything up. I just want to see these units do their thing. There we go. Yeah. It's a good name, war party. It's it makes sense, doesn't it? Kind of having a party here. We're like uh, on a rave right now. Okay, let's see where else they built a base. Gonna have to find every little unit. Oh, everybody's just destroyed. What's this building? That's the Shaman Cave, right? I like their little pit. Their pit was, uh, they had like some sort of a crystal mine. So they get like a little bonus in gathering crystal. They must have units that are more crystal heavy than food heavy. So that's kind of neat. All right, down in the south, we're crushing. Make sure everyone's on that. And the cave is dealt with too. All right, there's probably just a few units left uh, in terms of like, uh... oh, there we go. Yay! Victory, sweet. I came for a wrecking ball. Oh, I came in like a wrecking ball is the accomplishment I got. Sweet. All right, well, we beat him severely uh, military-wise. Good. Very good. I did not know there was a third level to that, and I'm glad we got to see a lot of those units. And that's nice that you can see the military, the economy, build order. Oh, here you are. Graphs, too. Not, not complete without a graph. Oh, yeah, look at my idle workers like crazy. <laughs> yep. This noob needs to learn. But that's what that's what's nice about this. Is you can see, like, where did you go wrong? Uh, you could see your army population, for example. They were at one point ahead of us, and uh, they smashed us a little bit, but we must have called in Mika and just finished off some units, and it was pretty much GG from there on out. Very nice. Very cool abilities. Very nice uh, game. Good maps. Uh, I like War Party, and if you like it too, you can pick it up on Steam today. Actually, I think you can uh, pre-order or add it to your wish list, or just purchase it if it's available. It depends. But uh, beautiful uh, intro screen, a really nice game. More of the campaign coming uh, soon, too. Let's take a look at the campaign. So, yes, you can choose the three uh, different factions that you'd like to play as. And uh, you can see they, were, they, they get different types of bonuses and doing things like that. So, the yeah, example is Zombie Spawns Near Char. You can see how each of them kind of has their own thing. And then the, I wonder if there's, like, an intro. Yeah, there you go, Retribution. So you can see the first uh, little uh, campaign for each uh, person and you can select easy normal hard so if you're not very good at games you can just the do that sage cannot remember and there's origins, a little cutscene one... we'll skip that just so we don't no spoilers raptor no spoilers okay I, I know a lot of you might like this so let's take a look then at uh, one of the little missions have done enough harm to this world it's time for nature to fight back uh oh a hippie i will need the power of the gone to convert wild dinosaurs to my side the nearby shrine is full of their energy. Oh, I like this intro. Okay, so these ma oh, so these guys are more like Aztecs, so they kind of li they they're more like in the like South America. Love the uh, the intro cutscenes, like that draw hand drawn cutscene was good. And then your typical mission of like starting with your your hero, and then you got to build up your army. So we're moving over here, and we're probably gonna get rid of some of these dinosaurs. Oh, I can't attack that. That's my homeboy. Oh, uh, never mind. I thought it was a Velociraptor. All right, let's get him. With this power, dinosaurs will unite to fight back against the nearby hunters. Wow, this game has a lot to it. There's voice acting. We will need a decent force to destroy their camp. I should recruit any wild dinosaur I meet. Beastmaster. Uh, tames a wild dinosaur and places it under your control. All right, let's get this one. Sweet. Okay, so this faction could just do all sorts of dinosaur recruiting. So, in that multiplayer game I just played, he would absolutely just wreck if we were able to get a bunch of, like, Triceratops at the start. Just like this. Perfect. Excellent. Alright, very good. Alright, I don't want to spoil too much of the campaign, but what I see here I really like. I like the ability to uh, play three different factions. If you'd like me to do a full playthrough on this game, uh, let me know down below in the comments section that I'd like to play through these campaigns upon release. Uh, and just kind of just play the game. Great music, good artwork, uh, nice style. I like it. Uh, this is uh, actually, I think I like the campaign a little bit more than the uh, standard skirmish. Not bad. All right, let's see if we can defeat these humans and we'll call it a day. Oh, cool. Even I can attack. Yeah, that's right. You humans don't stand a chance. Get him, boys. There we go. Oh, they got a T Rex over there. Oof. Wow, nicely detailed maps. This is nice. Get him, boys. Yeah, down trees. 
running water sound effects, beautiful uh, redwoods and stuff around. I really feel like I'm actually in a different part of the world, not some just generic copy and paste map. Very nice. Coming out of a temple here. Oh, yeah, you can see where I started all the way back there. Very good. All right, everyone. Well, that is it for our first episode of War Party, our first look. Again, if you want to see more, show your support. Thank you, everyone, for clicking and tapping the like button. Hope you all have a great day, and uh, I hope you look into getting this game if it's definitely for you. And uh, I, I think I'm, I'm going to play the campaign on this one. So I hope you support it, too. It looks like a lot of fun. I'll see you all soon. Thanks, as always, for your support, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone. Good music.